Pavement Materials and Design Pavement design is the major component in the road construction. Nearly one-third or one-half of the total cost of construction. So, careful consideration should be taken in design of pavement. There are three types of pavements. The flexible pavement, which is the bituminous or the asphalt made pavement. Flexible pavement are made of bituminous or asphalt material. Rigid pavement is made of concrete material. And semi-rigid pavement is the combination of the flexible and the rigid pavement. Factors which affect the selection of these pavements. Initial cost, availability of good materials, cost of maintenance, environmental conditions, availability of industrial waste, and traffic intensity. Pavement components. We have the subgrade, which provides support to the pavement as its foundation. The subbase course, which distributes the stresses over a wide area of the subgrade imposed by the traffic. The base course, which provides support to withstand high stress concentrations, which develop due to traffic under the wearing surface. And the surface course. For gravel or for gravel roads, extra thickness should be provided because of loss in thickness due to the traffic action. Now we have uh, we have formula on how to compute the thickness of a rigid pavement. For no dowels, we use the formula thickness or T is equal to the square root of 3w over fb at the side or at the side or edge with dowel the thickness is square root of 3w over 2fb and at the center with dowel the thickness is square root of 3w over 4fb where t is the thickness of the pavement w is the wheel load and FB is the bending stress of concrete. Now let's take this example. We have situation 1. A rigid pavement is to be constructed to carry a wheel load of 50 kN. The allowable tensile stress of concrete is 1.4 MPa. So we are asked to find the thickness of the pavement if the effect of dowel is neglected. Number two, if dowels are used across the joints, find the thickness of the pavement when the wheel load is placed at the edge of the pavement. And third, if dowels are used across the joints, find the thickness of the pavement when the wheel load is placed at the center of the pavement. So to answer these questions, let's first um, answer number one. So again, the formula in finding the thickness of the pavement if the effect of dowel or no dowel is um, used within that um, section. So we use the formula T is equal to square root of 3W over FB. Now, as stated in the situation, we have the wheel load. W, 50 kN, and the tensile stress, which is also the bending stress, here, we have 1.4 MPa. So, we substitute them directly to the formula. So, we have 3, we convert the wheel load into newtons, since we will use the unit of MPa for the tensile stress. So we have 1.4 megapascal. So of course, we don't need to include the unit, right? But let us use dimensional analysis. We know that the unit in the numerator is newtons and the unit in the denominator is newton per square millimeter. That is megapascal, right? Now, 
matitira dyan. Now, in this example, we will have square root of mm squared. So, it will give us a unit of millimeter. So, we have input in the calculator. So, meron tayong 3. Tagalog na tayo, guys. Na? Sakit na ilong ko. <laughs> oh, yan. 1.4. So, we have 327.3268 millimeters. Okay, next, number two, if dowels are used across the joints, find the thickness of the pavement when the wheel load is placed at the edge of the pavement. So, the formula, when the, when the effect of dowel is considered, and at the side or edge, uh, the location of the dowel is at the side or at the edge, we use the formula T. T is equal to 3W over 2FB. So we have the wheel load over 2 times the tensile stress or the bending stress. So we have there. Two hundred thirty one point four five five zero. Okay. And for the last item for this situation, if dowels are used across the joints, find the thickness of the pavement when the wheel load is placed at the center of the pavement. Okay, so the formula. When the effect of dowel is considered and the location is at the center, we use the formula 3W over 4FB. So we have 3 times 50,000 all over. So what is the thickness? So we have here 163.6634 millimeters. Okay, so let's proceed to the next type of pavement, which is the flexible pavement. Okay, so for the flexible pavement, we only use two formula. First formula is used to find the thickness of the pavement. And the second formula is to find the thickness of the base. Now, for the, in finding the thickness of the pavement, we use FP is equal to W over pi quantity R plus TP squared. For the thickness of the base, we use the formula FP or FB rather, FB is equal to W over pi quantity r plus tp plus tb squared where tp is the thickness of the pavement tb is the thickness of the base w is the wheel load fp is the bending stress of the subgrade or base of the pavement fp is the bending stress of the base and r is the radius of contact area now let's have these two examples here. So um, let's solve them one by one. Okay, so for the first item, compute the thickness of a flexible pavement for a wheel load of 54 kilonewtons if the allowable bearing pressure on the base of the pavement, okay? is 0.15 megapascal. So guys, this 0.15 megapascal here is your F sub B. That is the base of the pavement. And the equivalent radius of the contact 
area of the tires is equal to 165 millimeters. So this is your radius. This is your wheel load. So to find the thickness of the flexible pavement, okay, so we are looking for TP. Then we use the formula. That's the formula. We use the formula FP. So for the first item, compute the thickness of a flexible pavement for a wheel load of 54 kN. If the allowable bearing pressure on the base of the pavement, so this is 0.15 MPa, this is your F sub P. P stands for the pavement. And the equivalent radius of the contact area of the tires is equal to 165 millimeters. So this is your radius. Now, let's find the value. What we are looking for is the thickness of the pavement. So we are looking for T sub P. Then we simply use the formula. F sub P is equal to W all over pi. R plus the thickness of the pavement squared. So we have here 0.15 equal to 54,000 newtons, right? Remember that newton and megapascal are always dimensionally consistent with one another. And then pi. So we have the radius in millimeters as well. So we will get the value of TP also in millimeters. Okay, so we have there 173.5138 mm okay and for the last item for this flexible pavement it carries a static wheel load of 53.5 kilonewtons that is the wheel load then the circular contact area of the tire is 85,806 square millimeters so from here we simply equate the area of the circle to pi r squared then we substitute the area so we can get the radius of contact so the radius of contact is we have 165.2661 mm and then it is transmitted or the load is distributed across a wide area of the subgrade at an angle of 45 degrees. Now, class remember, if not stated, we assume that the distribution is 45 degrees. Why? Because this formula here that I um, showed you a while ago is actually intended for a 45 degree angle of distribution. So, don't worry. During your final exam, I'll only include problems that are distributed at 45 degree. If that is not stated in the problem, then you assume that it's 45 degree. Now, moving on, the subgrade bearing value is 0.14 megapascal, while that of the base is 0.41 megapascal. So, guys, this one here is your FP, and this one here is your FB. So, we are looking for the thickness of the base. That is TB. TB. Okay. So, we use the formula. FB is equal to will load all over pi R plus TP plus TB squared. But before that, 
we need first to find the value of TP. So, to find TP, we use the formula FP is equal to W over pi R plus TP squared. So, we have FP, which is 0.41 megapascal. We have the wheel load converted to Newton. So, we have 53,500 there. And then we have pi, and the radius is 165.2661 plus thickness of the pavement squared. So, what is the thickness of the pavement? We have there 53,500.41 pi minus 165.2661. So, we got here TP 38.5. 366 mm and now to finally get the value of tb we use the formula fb we have 0.14 is equal to the wheel load which is 53,500 all over pi then we have r which is 165.2661 Plus thickness of the pavement, we have 38.5366 plus thickness of the base squared. So, what is TB? So, we got the answer, 144.9663 mm. So, that ends our discussion for the pavement design.